Hey there! Hello, hola, como estas? This is your man, Yao Fusu. It's been a while. Now, as you can see today, I'm trying to look cool, so I got on some shades. You know what? Let's keep it real, all right? I can't see a damn thing with that thing. Let's get back to the real deal. All right, now we're talking. Okay, so now today, I want to talk about age gap relationships. That's right. Age gap relationships in the world. All right, now, if you are new here, to my new subscribers, I've been getting a lot of new su su subscribers lately. I want to say thank you. Welcome to the family. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for joining me. And there's a whole lot coming our way, all right? Okay, so now, let's talk about age gap relationships. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, the bad, and the ugly parts of age gap relationships in the world, all right? Now, depending on what part of the world you live in, depending if you live in here like North America or Western Europe, or maybe Africa, Asia, South America, age gaps could be a taboo to you if you live in the West, okay? If you see a man in his 40s, even a man in his 40s like me with a 20 year old, you may look at it with a frown like, well, what is this? What a shame, you know? But in other parts of the world, it's actually very nothing to them. It's very casual, all right? Now, let's get with, um. Where, where should I start from? Okay, let me start from this here. When do, when do we become aware of age gaps? I know, talking personally, I became aware of age gaps when, um, when I was in like, from junior high to high school, because when, when you're in junior high, you know, you get, you get your first little girlfriend, you know, everything is peachy, this and that, right? And then when you get to high school and the girls start developing, you know, when they get their first set of tatas, you know, you know what I mean. You know, when when the flashlights pop up, right? All of a sudden, it's like now I, I'm I'm talking about my personal experience here. All of a sudden, they lose interest in the guys they came from junior high school with into into high school. Okay, now from my experience, I saw most of the girls that was in ninth grade with me. They started dating. 11th grade students, you know, like some, some were even dating seniors and they were freshmen, right? And then by the time we got to like 10th grade, 11th grade, most of these girls were dating college students. They wasn't even dating high school students anymore. They were dating college students and grown ass men with cars. I mean, I remember, like, by the time I was, like, in 11th grade, some of these girls had boyfriends coming to pick them up in their cars. I mean, some of them were in college. And some of them were grown-ass men that were, like, in their late 30s or whatever, picking up these high school girls. I mean, I grew up in the 90s, and I'm talking from my own experience, what I saw with my own eyes, okay? So that's something that, was very common and I know it still goes on today all right now let's move on and see let's talk about when it comes to age gap relationships right let's talk about the good the bad and the ugly now everything I'm about to say here is from my my perspective, a man's perspective, okay? Okay, so 
What what is a good age gap between a man and a woman? Now, what I'm talking about here is a woman that's of legal age, 21 and above. Okay, I'm not talking about under 20 or anything like that. When I say a woman, I'm talking about a female that is 21 and above. That's what I consider a woman. All right, I'm not talking about high school anymore. So now, what I'm gonna give you a multiple choice here, all right? A, A is um five years, five years between a man and a woman. B is 10 years, right? C is 15 years. And D is, um, D, I should say, all the above. Me personally, I think the answer should be D, all the above. I firmly believe that a man can be as much as 15 years older than a woman that's over 21. As long as she's not being forced into the relationship by religion or by culture or anything like that, as long as she agrees to it, 15 years should be the maximum between a man and a woman when it comes to age gap, okay? The minimum, the minimum should be at least five years. All right? Now, The main reason why I'm, I'm saying this is that uh, personally, I believe that if a man is not older than a woman and they're in a relationship, the first thing that's going to disappear is respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect. There will be no respect if the man it's not at least five years or older than the woman. All right? And since childbearing age is, I mean, in most parts of the world, childbearing age is from, for at least, you know, for a woman to have a first child, it's like 15 to 25 in most, part, most parts of the world. I'm not talking about here in America or Western Europe, but in other parts of the world, 15 to 25 woman's first child should be born. In some parts of the world, by the time a woman is like 28, if she's not married already, she's considered an old lady. And it'll be very hard for her to find a husband. So these are facts, facts that I'm, I'm just saying here, all right? Besides, let's think about it. I'm in my 40s now, right now. A man in his 40s is not checking out for a woman in her 40s. I mean, I am not looking at any woman in their 40s, even though I'm, I'm in my 40s. It's just a natural thing. You know, we look at women. I could speak for myself. I look at women in their mid-20s, from 25 to 30. 35, close to 40, okay? I will not go under 25, and I definitely not going for women in their 40s, not unless she's freaking Halle Berry or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just the way men are created, at least, you know, red-blooded men, or at least intellectual men. That's, that's how I would say it. All right, let's move on. Let's talk about the bad. Now, when I say bad, what I mean is, what, what is the age gap between a man and woman that will be considered bad? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I should give this a, as a quiz too, right? No, you know what? Let me flip it and turn it into women to men. Personally, I think 
women should not be older than men when it comes to age gap relationships. Now, I know, I know somebody will probably say, oh, this guy is a chauvinist pig or this and that. Well, call me whatever you want. This is just my personal, personal belief. I don't think a man, a man should be younger than a woman in any way, shape, or form when it comes to a relationship. All right? If you think it's okay, if you think it's okay, let me give you a little multiple choice here. If you think it's okay for a woman to be older than a man, by what age? A, five years. B, 10 years. C, 15 years. Or D, not, not, not at all, none of the above. Now, personally, I think if you chose anything besides D, you are a freaking idiot. Because a man should not be younger than a woman in any way, shape, or form when it comes to a relationship. Okay? I stand on that with all, with everything I got, all my belief that a man should not be younger than a woman. You will, if you're a man and you're in a relationship with a woman that's older than you, you're not fooling anybody by yourself. All right? You, 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 you cannot be happy. All right, now, let me, it's not natural. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's not natural. It's not pleasant. It's not. Come on, man. If you're a man and you're in your thirties and you are messing with a woman that's in her forties, that already got gray hair on the pum pum. I mean, come on now. You, you cannot physically, you cannot physically find that attractive. If you're a man, you're in your 50s or 60s and the woman is 40s, you'll still find her as a young tenderoni. But if you're 30 and the woman is 40, come on. Come on. Wake up, dog. You're not fooling anybody by yourself. All right? Let me, let me give you a few reasons why it's, it's, un, it's unnatural. It's not natural. Let me give you a few reasons. Number one. Okay, an older woman, an older woman will never, no matter what you do, will never respect you. As long as she's older than you. Even if she's older than you by just one day, some way or some, some way, somehow, whether you disagree on something or whatever, it will come to your face. She'll put it to your face. Look, I'm older than you and you should listen to me. I'm I'm a hundred percent sure about that. Okay. Number two, she will never have a peace of mind because deep inside of her, she knows that the least chance you get as a man to smash something younger and more beautiful, you will jump on it. I mean, it's a fact. It's it's, it's nothing but honesty here. Any man that's with an older woman see a young tenderoni walking around, shh, man, he will turn heads like this, like the exorcist. You know that's what you want naturally, okay? So if you with a woman that's older than you, you just playing yourself. Okay, because no matter what, listen, she could be the most beautiful woman in the world. You're going to cheat on her. You're going to cheat on her because it's not natural. Okay. Now, do you want to be, let's move, number three. Do you want to be a 40-year-old man like me in your 40s, right? And you want to be with a woman in her 50s. You know, she done hit the wall in her 40s already. Because, listen, women hit their wall 
they hit the wall hard in the early 40s. Okay, so by the time she's 50, naturally she's, she's supposed to be a grandma already. Okay, you know what I'm saying? The, the Tatas is already pointing south. You know what I'm saying? You know, the wrinkles are starting to kick in. Now, I'm not disrespecting women here. I'm just telling the truth. There's gray hair all down there. It's, I mean, it's not a pretty sight if you're a young man. If you're an older man, you know, it's all good. But if you're a younger man, dating a woman in their 50s, not unless you're a total loser, you're a bum and you need a place to stay, it's just not a, it's just not a thing to do. You know what I mean? It's just not the thing to freaking do. Okay? Let me give you an example. There's this, um, I'm not even going to say his name. He's very famous. This guy in, in Atlanta, he's a singer, you know. Nice R&B singer. I love his music, by the way. My, my son is in another room. I think you hear everything. You hear everything I'm saying? So my son is in another room. He's laughing. He, he knows who I'm talking about. He got with an older woman. A woman who already got children, some of them were even grown, all right? And this guy's mother tried everything she can to try to stop him from marrying her. But the dummy didn't listen. And in the end, he, he paid for that dearly. He paid for that dearly. I mean, it cost him millions of dollars. When he finally woke up and noticed that he, hey, I don't want to be with this this old woman. When I have a bunch of young, beautiful girls throwing their panties at me. When he woke up, it, it was too late. It cost him a lot of money to leave that woman behind. So financially, it's not even wise for a younger man to be with an older woman. It don't make sense. Okay? Now... Let's get to the, the ugly, the ugly, 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 ugly part about age gap relationships. Okay? Now, I've had the privilege to travel around the world. Okay? And now, I've noticed, I've noticed this kind of relationships mostly in, um, in foreign countries, you know. Or should I say, you know, countries where it's tough financially for a lot of women. Okay. Now, I've well, what I'm about to talk about here. I've seen it personally in, um, I've seen it in Ghana, Africa. I've seen it in Costa Rica, South America. I've seen it in Thailand, Philippines, in Asia. Okay. You see, I'm talking about not even grown ass men. I'm talking about men in their sixties because of a dollar walking around with young women like in their early twenties. Sometimes you even see them with with teenagers. This this is I'm talking about in Thailand. You see a man that's like sixty year old with a nineteen eighteen year old girl. Why? I mean, that is, to me, it's, it's just disgusting. You know, it's, it's unnatural. It's, it's, it's pedophilic. It's, I, I'm trying to find any word I could use for that. It's, it's, it's so nasty when you see that. Okay? And sometimes I wonder, like, like how come countries like, like the Philippines and Thailand... I know India, India have that problem too. And some other African countries, Costa Rica included. How come the government cannot set a law that says that if you are, especially if you are a foreigner, if you are a tourist, above the age of like 50, if you are caught with a, a woman, not even a woman, with a minor, you should be locked up. I mean, I, I believe that's, that, that should be a law. 
I, I believe that should be an international law all over the world. Because I've seen some disgusting things, man. Throughout my travels, you see old creepy men. And you know they got money. With young, beautiful tenderonies. And, and sometimes I'm like, what the, what the hell? Yo, poverty is a son of a man. Because these guys, these old guys, they be coughing up the money to these young girls, man. Girls that a man in your 30s, you can't even get. But these old bastards, these old miserable men will be shedding out thousands to them. And these girls be with them. And I'm like, yo, this is... This is amazing, amazingly disgusting. Okay, so let me um and you know what? It's not just it's not just the men men too, because I've seen I've seen women, women, mostly European women, that travel to to Ghana, Gambia, you know, they travel to black countries, Jamaica. To get laid, so it's not just a it's not just a man thing, I, and sometimes you know like like one time I I was at a beach in Ghana, and I saw this. It was disgusting, man. This this woman got to be in her mid mid sixties, close to seventy, and she was walking around hand in hand, hands locked, with a guy that's like. The most he could be would be like 25, 26. And I was looking at them like, what the what? I mean, what kind of disgusting crap is this? You know, she's throwing money to him. Because what are you gonna do with this grandma looking woman? And you know, European women don't age well. You know, she was ill. <laughs> ill. <laughs> But this young guy was walking around hand in hand with her, and I'm like, yo, this is disgusting, man. So I I, I guess it's a it's not just a man manly thing. Women do it too. It is disgusting. Anyway, let me conclude it here. So in conclusion, I stand by what I say, and I'm saying this. It's okay for a man to be at least five to 15 years older than a woman as long as the woman is of legal age and she's not being forced into a relationship by let's say culture or religion or anything like that i believe it's okay good age difference good age gap between a man and a woman should be five to 15 years okay i'm in one personally i'm over 10 years older than my my woman Okay, I, I seen it when I was growing up. My father was significantly older than my mother. I see my grandparents too, you know, the grandfather was much older than the grandma. It's, that, it's, it's just a natural thing to do, okay? But whatever you do, don't be one of those idiots. You are a 20 year old man and you're with a 30 year old woman. By the time she turned 40, you want to go back and you'll be 30 and trying to mess with a 20 year old woman. And what is going to happen? It's not going to be good for you. All right. My name is Yao Fusu, the one and only Globe Master. Hey, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, hit the like button, share it, join my family. And let's keep things iry, all right? Love you. Cheers.